The weather warmed up just in time for our trip to Daytona Beach, Florida. The UNCF Empower Me Tour took us to the lovely campus of Bethune-Cookman University. A school steeped in tradition and rich history, headed up by a woman who certainly left her mark in the field of education. Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune, the school's founder, was in high demand at the time. U.S. Presidents Coolidge, Hoover, Roosevelt, and Truman all appointed her to government positions. Her understated home, a National Historic Landmark, is under renovation and is expected to reopen next month. Her statue, like her, a towering presence, serves as a reminder of her passion and her insatiable desire to pour knowledge into young people. One dollar, fifty cents. That's what Mary McLeod Bethune used to rent a two-story frame building back in 1904 so she could establish a school for black girls. Well, there were only five female students when that school was established. Now take a look. That place has evolved into Bethune-Cookman University, a thriving campus with nearly 4,000 students. The student body was fired up over campus-wide elections for the Miss Bethune-Cookman pageant, an election that saw candidates campaigning for that final vote with treats, burgers, and barbecue. The Quad also saw many students signing up determined not to miss this year's Empower Me Tour town hall meeting. What's going on, Bethune Cookman? Let me hear you. Yeah. Celebrity guest host Warren Ballantyne took the town hall stage along with R&B artist Lettucey, comedian uh, yeah. Cheryl Underwood, and TV actress Tatiana years. Ali, who <laughs> fought back a nasty cold to join us via Skype technology. Um, I'm still sick, but I'm glad this is working. See, it's like Oprah. <laughs> like moments to serious reflection. And no one could have told me that I would go from just being a country girl from Arkansas, living in Chicago, trying to get a master's degree, wanting to be in the entertainment business to own my own company. Let us spoke of her experience being raised by a single mom. She never let any of her obstacles get in the way of her pursuing, uh, taking care of her family and doing her dream, but she lived her dream through me. My parents are immigrants to this country. My mother is from Panama and my father's from Trinidad. And Yay. they, Trinidad? Yay. Yay. <laughs> they, they really raised, they raised my sisters and I to uh, understand that they came to this country with certain goals to provide a better opportunity for us and that my sisters and my cousins, our job is to do a little bit better than they did. The students heard the messages loud and clear and were encouraged to keep their eyes on the prize. Don't let anything stop you. You know, things get in the way. We've all had our ups and downs, but just look past them. You can do whatever you want to do. Just keep God first. Great advice as we move on to the next tour stop. For Empower Me TV, I'm Phyllis Jackson.